Good morning. We are on the road. We are popping out to follow in a few calls. I've made a few introductory calls um, over the past week or so around the waste business and trying to make some introductions to local businesses. And a lot of them have said, well, drop in a brochure, drop in a price guide for us. So what we're doing is just heading back out on the road, trying to get sort of out once a week if we can in front of organisations in the local area to sort of talk about the Tassie waste business, which is your man and van waste collection, your alternative to a skip effectively in Norfolk. So we're just popping into local villages, local towns, and dropping into councils, public authority, uh, local authority, should I say, um, and estate agents and the like, just sort of saying, look, if you've got end of tenancy, if you need clearances, if you're a construction related business, here's the price guide, leave it on your desk. If you ever need us, let us give you a cost to do a man and van load and save you on the skip cost. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're getting out and we are gonna post in some brochures and see if we can generate any noise. Just try and bring some new customers on every single week. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's going good, thanks, Sam. I've uh, been really busy. Obviously, we've got WIP well underway now, and it's now working with our software because we've made some changes. So it's made it a lot more efficient, a lot more quicker. Um, but obviously, it's created some new issues and challenges, as new processes do. Um, so yeah, we're just working at being proactive, working with the other side of the business, so sales, admin, processing, um, to basically make us all run more efficiently and work well as a team. So NAIF is also seeing the benefits and reaping the rewards. Um, aren't you NAIF? Getting more efficient and working well as a team. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from he's dropping his clipboard. Yeah, no, I'm so mind boggled over the new systems. It's uh, <laughs> working, that I'm dropping my clipboard now. So yeah, yeah. It's all going well. Improving, definitely. Feeling a bit tired on this Tuesday afternoon. Um, lots happening, lots of positive things happening to be fair, um, but just a lot all at the same time and just trying to choose where my energy goes and trying to be a little bit more strict with myself positively. Tony has um, come on board with us this week, which you may or may not meet depending on whether he's prepared or willing to be on the camera. Um, but. So Tony is, has got a lot of industry experience, I think close to 20 years he's been in the industry. Uh, and he's got a lot of background in purchasing, sourcing, procurement, all that sort of stuff. So Tony's come on board to sort of look at being our purchasing and product lead, if you like, around where we're buying from, how we're buying, how we're managing our supply chain, efficiencies in, in that sort of stuff and just look at what sort of range we're displaying for our customers uh, and not sort of doubling up and where we go on our website at the moment we've got sometimes a lot of the same and it's a bit overwhelming for our customers so i had some good meetings with tony over the last day or so just looking at sort of those objective and key results i don't think enough people set that and in the past we haven't it's a little thing i coined from a book i believe it's something google were rolling out um, years ago and it's effectively OKRs so it's objectives and key result areas so what I've done with Tony is we've kind of agreed in working alongside myself and the wider group strategy these are the key sort of three month initial OKRs so the objective being this the key result areas being this and then we can design or rather he can design his exact tactics of how he's going to do that. So it's like um, objectives, the strategy we're going to, how we're going to do it, and then the tactics are the very in-depth little bits that he's going to nib nibble away at every day to, to make ground on the big objective. So we set that, we set a few of those. I think something I've learned is don't have too many. So Tony's just got two. 
that he's working on. Um, and then we've set some key results and some strategy there. So that's been positive. I feel a little bit tired because I've been looking at lots of numbers and doing lots of thinking around that. And then we are trying to make some decisions on some new equipment investment, which we hadn't planned for. But our printing department at Totally Branded over in the production facility is just being throttled. And some of the equipment we've got is just not up to what it needs to be in terms of capability. So Cody is asking me for new equipment which is good, but it's just looking at finance options and how we're gonna do it and protecting that cash flow because we are coming into very soon our tough period, which is December and January, where cash flow is not always on our side. So they're, they're lumpy investments for these new pieces of equipment because we're trying to go up a few notches in terms of the grade that we're using and what it can pump out an hour in terms of efficiency, which is very important. Um, but we just need to make sure we get it right. And making, you just never really know. So we're just weighing up some different finance options, running some different rates in a, in a spreadsheet and making some decisions on that. But yeah, in terms of an update, that is what we're doing. What are you up to, Mitch? Oh, it's organised chaos, Sam. We are um, off to the Business to Business Expo for Norfolk Chambers of Commerce on Thursday. So just trying to prep the exhibition stand um, from the last one we did down in West London. Um, just trying to kind of tidy it up and see what we've got. And uh, there's so many products to choose from, so I'm trying to filter through to see um, which ones we want to take with us to display uh, to the Norfolk businesses. So um, just kind of doing a dummy run, really, to uh, make sure the stand's all good and proper, ready for our visitors on Thursday. So if you've been watching the vlog and you're a regular viewer, you'll know that I'm obsessed with our metrics, measuring every little granular detail of the business as much as we possibly can. So every department, we've got our key sort of metrics that we know affect our, we've got input and output metrics. So input metrics being how quickly we answer the phone and what a wait time is on a, getting an artwork visual from Totally Branded, for example. All those inputs that we can control day to day massively will impact what we would call our output metrics, which is what most people look at, which is how much sales have we done this week, this month, what was our margin, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm very obsessed and we've built and invested tens of thousands of pounds over the years in trying to use different tools and, and investment in data capturing across the business to really understand the input metrics, how long things are taking, how, you know, our response times, our waste percentages, where we're losing time, where we're gaining time, how many, you know, the little granular things we're doing every week, how many outbound calls we're making, how many inbound calls, how many email marketing campaigns are being sent, how many backlinks are we gaining on our website from an SEO's perspective, all these sort of things we're measuring and we're measuring. But there, we've tried tools over the years, didn't work, opted for Excel, because we just found that we're using these tools, we've, they're all supposed to be super duper hooked up to API and all this shenanigans. And they just didn't, we, we'd sit in the weekly business review looking at this data and I'd go, just my gut would tell us that it's, it was not correct. And then we'd dig into it, oh yeah, well, the API broke and this didn't work. So we were looking at data and it was just pointless. So we went manual. Now our accountants have just recommended a new tool and then I bumped into a really nice fella at a networking do not long ago who then sort of seconded that it's been very good for his business, which is called Fathom. And now this tool is more of an accountant related tool from what I can understand, but it's, it's hooked up to Xero, which is our accountancy tool of choice, which we love. But it's so it's feeding in there, and I can do all of our cash flow, long term budgets, I can do strategy in there, but I can also add custom KPIs in there. So not just the financial related KPIs, but I can also look at custom ones for every department and I can set up these department KPIs for production, operations, HR, marketing, and then all of that data can be fed in 
and it can create these really nice in-depth interactive reports with trends, different trend lines, and you can, you can take a HR metric, for example, and look at the trend line against a sales metric. So let's just say our waste level in production on a month to month basis, how much of the product we make is faulty and has to go in the bin, pure cash in the bin, against sickness levels in that department. So we can look at, blimey, when we've got a lot of absenteeism mixed with a high level of, so sorry, yeah, when we've got a lot of absenteeism, you look at our revenue or our waste that month and the waste goes sky high because we've got loads of temporary staff in, blah, blah, blah. And you can start to spot trends. That was probably a really bad example, but you get where I'm trying to go with it is that when you do it in Excel, it's very labor intensive and we find that it's, a, it's just not as interactive and you can't dig deep. This tool seems to be really good. So we're just about to go into the meeting with um, the chap who is coming in to help us get Fathom rolled out within the business and really get it set up, transport. So we've got Ben come in, Trev, myself, and we're getting all of the spreadsheets that everybody's holding data and we're getting it all into this Fathom software so we can take the first step in rolling it out and giving ourselves a lot more visibility. Because the tool, what it can do from what I've been told is, it will give you, if you say, I want my goal is to get my gross margin to 40% GP, but you're currently trending at 35, what it will do is it will look at all of the different metrics on your expenditure, your gross, and it will say, if you just raise your sales prices by 0.5% and lower your overtime by 0.2%, but we're talking menial numbers, the impact to your bottom line will be astronomical. So I'm looking forward to getting a real good in-depth day on it, a good demonstration, get all of the data in it, and then start deploying it and see what insights it's gonna deliver so that we can invoke positive change to build this business for a better tomorrow. So that is what I'm doing now. Busy, 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 and the illness has caught me that's been going around the office. I feel really a bit rough today, and just head bunged up but we're trying to push on um it's all go it's all go there is lots happening the waste is picking up the team have been on some big projects we've started working with some sort of main contractors and construction companies uh, across norfolk some have really been throwing us some nice projects to really get our teeth into with, with lots of full loads doing some large clearances so it's been just seems to go from one extreme to the other. But I think that is when you've got that sort of startup, that is the way it rolls sometimes. It's one minute, you know, you're, you're absolutely flat out. The next minute you're wondering where the next booking's gonna come from. And it is a bit, peak, you know, a bit of a yo-yo effect, but really exciting to get those couple of new clients over the line. And I've got a few meetings. I'm just heading out now to meet a couple of local people who we are talking to some care homes um, about doing some of their waste clearance and removals and just showing them how it can be more cost effective than the traditional skips. Uh, so yeah, excited about that and we're doing that. Just feeling a little bit rough. Um, what else is happening? I'm trying to think to update you on. We're pushing on with the website and it's all go really. We're just trying to make things better than yesterday. Keep pushing on growing the businesses. We've had some fantastic new people join the company in the last week and a bit. Um, my new assistant Kelly has come on board. Um, she's already changing my, my world. It's been a breath of fresh air to have that level of support and it's freeing me up to do things like what I'm doing now, heading out on the road, getting in front of people to grow the business uh, and build us so that we can keep scaling for the team to offer more progression for our team members and, and keep building for a better tomorrow. So really good. Yolanda started in the studio, that's been positive. Tony's getting stuck in with our procurement and looking at how we're buying and streamlining our product ranges. So it's all go. Signing off on some new equipment that we've just purchased today, which hopefully you'll see soon for production to take our, our printing capabilities up a notch. So it's all go, lots going on. My head is a bit frazzled and not helping, not feeling a bit under the weather. But it's been a great week. And I'm looking forward to what the next couple of weeks have got in store for us. And that is what we're doing. Till next week, goodbye.